Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how I do a hand painted balayage and color mount. Here's the color we are starting off with. I like to prep her hair with some K18 because she previously was bleached. Go ahead and section it into fours. I will be starting with Redken with 20 volume. I'm now creating a base with balayage wrap to get started. So here I am sectioning off a left triangle and then right triangle and then middle triangle. Again, just repeat left triangle and paint and then right triangle and paint and then middle triangle and paint. You see how I'm starting off with a V and then slowly working my way to the middle and then diffusing it where it connects in the midsection and then running it down. Again, just repeating myself, work to your right, to the left, and then down the middle. You see how I did three lines, connect it towards the midsection of the hair, and then work my way to the bottom. You really want to focus um, on the painting part because I feel like the more you take your time to diffuse it, the more blended it will be. All right, let's do that again. So paint the two sides with the line and then paint one down the middle. So you have three lines, connect it where the midsection meets and then paint your way down. We are finally reaching our way to the top. So once this is all done with the 20 volume, I'm going to go ahead and mix my Redken with 30 volume and start with the sides. I am now sectioning it diagonally and then pulling it back. Once I'm done doing two rows of section over here, I'll flip her the other way and then do the other two rows. Then you can kind of see me going back and forth, like working on the right side and then working on the left side and then working on the right side and then back on the left side. Here, this will help kind of let it process evenly as I work my way up. Yay, we finally reach our last sections and here we go. So here I'm just putting really low heat on the last pieces of balayage that I painted. And once you got to the lift that you needed, just go ahead and slide off all the balayage wrap. I feel like this part is just really satisfying because here is when you can actually see your blend and how light it's gotten. This is just so beautiful to me after it's been taken all out. All right, let's rinse out all the bleach and get that really clean. This is what it looks like right after I rinse without toner. Here I'll be mixing 8NV by Lanza with some translucent and demi. So first of all, I like to tone all over with the lighter color and then after it's all done in process, I rinse this out and then I go ahead and mix up my root shadow which is 5N and 16 Redken Shades EQ. Here I'm just detangling her hair just to keep it nice and sectioned. I'm going to go ahead and paint the two inches of the root area and what you will see me do is that section that's in every layer of foil, I like to take a brush and comb the underneath twice and then comb the top twice and then put a foil. And then again, I'll repeat, paint the first two inches and then pull up that whole section, brush it underneath two times and then brush the top two times and then put a foil on top. You can or you don't have to use foil, but for me, I feel like it just keeps everything really neat. Here I go using IGK's heat protectant, blow dry, and here's the final results after curling and styling. I had to take her outside and here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this hand painted balayage video. I had so much fun making it and thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!